What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. But today we are gonna be doing some baking and we are finna do it with me, A.B. Now check this out, you guys just seen that thumbnail. I know you can just imagine in your mind me breaking them open, that steam coming out, you know, you hitting it with that butter. Hey look, these are super easy, what are we gonna call these? I guess I'll just go ahead and call these just some oven yeast, you know, rolls. Super easy to make. You know, it's about that time that I put this on the chat, you know, on my channel, just to show you guys, you know what, we can make these at the house. We got the holidays coming and all of that. Hey, I don't want to over talk it. I feel like I'm starting to ramble. Let's get right into this video so I can show you guys just how easy it is to make oven yeast rolls. Now, we'll talk about, I want you guys to notice, this is not all purpose flour. This right here is bread flour. And what we're going to need is we're going to need five cups. Let me show you. Now here, this is one cup, right? So we're gonna need five of these, and this right here, this is a half a cup. Now the reason I got the half a cup is, look, we're gonna put five cups in, and then once we make our dough, if we need anything extra, it's gonna come from here, the half cup. And then whatever we need extra to get to the texture that we need to get the dough right, we're gonna take it out of here in tablespoon, two tablespoon increments. This right here, this is a tablespoon of sugar. This is just regular white, you know, granulated sugar. And then right here, this is the yeast. This is the tablespoon. And this is the brand that I'm using right here, that instant yeast. This is why we're gonna need this water to be at that certain temperature in between that 105 and 115 so we can activate this. And this is where the magic is gonna happen. Now, right here, you'll see that I got three garlic cloves. Got my press. This right here is more so, so when we make our butter, cause we are gonna brush it with that and we are gonna get it on like that, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh, sea salt. This is what we're gonna put on the top. Normally I use flaky, couldn't find no flaky, so we're gonna go ahead with this coarse grind, you know, sea salt. And I'll go back here. This is oregano. Look, this right here is gonna go in the butter. I'm gonna show you guys everything, you know, how to make it and all of that. But listen, if you look down at the description box below, the full ingredient list will be in there. Now let's just talk about this right here. Look, this is the olive oil, right? This is my infused olive oil by Branch and Vine. Infused with what? Garlic. Because when you think about rolls, I know you think about having some garlic yeast rolls. Hey, super easy. You know what? I don't want to over talk it. We finna get right into this. I'm finna bring this up to Tim. And we finna, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make your own yeast rolls in your oven at home. Okay, so look. Got my water warmed up. So now I'm going to show it to you guys. You guys go ahead and look at that right there. Remember, we're supposed to be between 105 and 115 degrees. And look like we achieved that right there. So now we're gonna go ahead and pour it into my mixer. I didn't go over before, but you guys can see I'm using my KitchenAid, you know, stand mixer, right? Got my hook on here, right here. This is right here is for like kneading dough, and getting all that together, right? So you just saw that I got the uh, water up to temp. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this in here like that. Then I'm gonna close this, lock it, and I'm gonna put it on low just to get it going. Now, I'm gonna go ahead first, I'm gonna add my sugar. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our yeast. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. Look, I just run this, you know, the kneading hook, I just run that just until everything is combined, right? Combined. So as you can see, there's no clumps or nothing like that. So now we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes. Then we'll go ahead and add our salt and then we'll add our garlic infused oil. Okay, it's been exactly five minutes, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I put this cover over here because we're gonna pour the rest of our ingredients in, you know, through this spout. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on low, which is my first setting, right? I'm gonna start off by adding my salt. Now, when it comes to the olive oil, I'm gonna go ahead and just measure this one out. We're gonna need a tablespoon. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add it here. That's a tablespoon, we'll drop it. Make sure we don't hit that paddle. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my flour, right? This is one cup, and I'm gonna just start pouring it right in here, like as you see. We'll leave it on low, and we'll get the rest. You can see right here, I run the knife, that square is right across the top. And we come on over here, and we'll do this. Now remember, I'm gonna add five cups. And here we are. This is cup number five. Now, look, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this right now so you guys can see what it looks like. 
you can see it starting to knead, it's starting to pick up every all of the flour that's on the edge, and it's starting to become like dough. We're gonna leave it on low, and we're gonna let this continue until it, everything has been picked up, and if it's too sticky, we'll just add a little bit more to it. Okay, so look, I just turned it off, just so you guys can see, this is the consistency that you wanna look for. I'm gonna take my finger, right, and when I touch it, you can see it barely wants to stick to my finger, right? This right here is right. So I'm gonna leave this up, and you can see it's starting to like, just from the weight, you know, pull down. This right here is a good mixture. Now, let's go ahead, we're gonna oil this bowl, put this in the inside, and then we're gonna cover it, and then we're gonna let it rest. Now, we have this done. You can see I already got it covered up. I didn't wanna show you guys, because listen, me struggling with this saran wrap is one thing. So look, once you got it covered, I'm gonna set a timer for one hour, then we're gonna come back and take a look at it, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so it's been an hour. Take a look at that. You can see just how big it is. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this plastic wrap off. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just slide this over with, so we gonna work on the counter, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this flour, just sprinkle some of this down here, just so that nothing sticks to it, right? Just like you see. Now we'll take this out and we'll go ahead and put it just like you see that. Now, just making sure I got enough flour, right? So what I'm gonna do is just bring it over like this, kind of like just knead it in. You guys can use whatever technique you like, you know what I mean? But this right here works for me. Bring it over. Then we don't want to over overwork it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just form it into this ball, just like you guys see right here. And there you have it. That's how it's gonna look. Now, what we wanna do, now look, I went and got this little apparatus I got right here, right? I use this on my griddle, but you're gonna wanna get, your something, get yourself something where you can cut it in half. So for me, I'm just gonna cut it like this, right? So we got it in half, then we gonna cut it the half in half, right? We're just gonna quarter it, because the objective is for us to get even sized pieces, right? Without trying to like actually go ahead and do what, uh, like some people like to measure. Measuring would be the right way. So I'm just gonna go like this, like this. Now these are gonna be kind of big. This should make 16, but just to give you an idea, I'm gonna set that over there. We'll just get these separated. And then we can cut these in half. Remember, you're gonna wanna make sure you got enough flour on your, your surface, just so that you know nothing sticks. Nothing wrong with putting a little bit more down. Now, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna cut these in half and that'll give us the 16. So, we'll do it just like this, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now so you guys don't have to like keep watching this process. We got this, right? This is the half. So now we're just gonna take it like this. I think on the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, you know, so I don't have so much flour so that it will roll in my hand. But just take your hand, cuff it like this, and get it to roll around, and you should come up with something just like that. That right there is perfect. Now I'm gonna set this off to the side. Now here's another view for you, right? This is one of the original eight. We cut that in half. Then what you do is you just go ahead and put your hand over it, and you just roll it around on your surface until it forms, you know, a nice size, you know, round ball. And we'll just set that right over there. All right, so I got my pan, right? And the reason I'm using such a small pan, because I'm gonna be using my Brevo oven. You know, it's a countertop oven, right? So you remember I talked about having the fine cornmeal. Look, we're just gonna take a little bit like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just get it to kind of like, just like you see here. I don't know how to explain this, but you just wanna have it like dusted just a little bit, right? Now we'll take our balls and we'll just go ahead and put them on here just like you see here. You'll notice that they start rising on their own. You know, so time is almost of an essence, you know what I mean? But this is fine. And if they touch, we're gonna just pull them apart. It's okay. I like to usually give them about a, you know, like to try to give them some type of space. I like to use like one inch, you know, but if you don't, that's fine. You guys will see right here. Now, they should look just like that, right? And you can see they can slide. You know that's what that cornmeal does, keep it just so that it can slide around just a little bit so when we bake these, they're not gonna stick. Okay, so you 
Look, I'm gonna just show you to you like this. We're gonna get fancy with it a little bit. I got my kitchen skewers, right? I'm just gonna take this over the top like this, and we're just gonna cut it. Just like you see here. You're gonna notice, you'll see why I'm doing this, you know, when they finally done. And then, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do one like this just to check it out. We, we finna see. There we go. Let's do two like that. Okay, so we good there. Now, we wanna go ahead and get ourselves some olive oil. Pour a little bit, you know, in here, because what we finna do is we getting ready to brush this. Now, get yourself a brush, and you wanna brush this completely all over. Now you guys know why I use that garlic infused, right? Because we gonna have a hint of that garlic in there. Hey, you guys see it. So, you know this right here doesn't need no instruction. You just wanna paint this, you know, complete. And then you just go ahead and then, you know, top it off with some of that sea salt, right? Now remember earlier I said flaky salt is the best, but if you got the coarse ground sea salt like I had, that works just fine. Hey, look, sea salt sends it over the top, folks. Okay, so the oven is up to 425 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and just set this in like this. Now that I have that in there, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna set the time. It could take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and set this time to 10 minutes and then we wanna look. We're just looking for them to be golden brown and then they'll be good. So we'll come back, look at them at 10 minutes and make a decision then. Okay, so the timer just went off. This is what they look like at 10 minutes. Now we'll decide if we wanna go a little further. You can look at them and see that color on them right now. I'm liking that. You know what I mean? We could go in for another couple of more minutes. It really is just about reaching a desired, you know, color that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Just go ahead and set them up, set them right here. Now, I went ahead and made my little garlic butter, put a little oregano in here, and what we're gonna do is we just finna paint these, you know what I mean, and get them nice and moist, let this soak in. We're gonna let them cool, and then we're gonna taste one of these. And I know I put the salt on there. If it comes off, no worries, because now you can go and add something to it. Man, they smell unbelievable how they smell. Okay, so you guys see it. Here it is. You know what I mean? Hey, I don't even want to say it's really like a long process. You just got to take your time with it because you got some setup times because we're dealing with that yeast, right? If you don't want to go ahead and use, you know, like the minced garlic, you don't have to do that. You know what I mean? But these is good. Hey, listen, my mouth is watering. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and break one of these just like you see right here. And just look, hey, this is just like when they buy, when you buy them in the store, right? So, hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna go ahead and get, get me one of these. I don't know why it's making me smile. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, hey, anyway, cheers. Somebody better call my local grocery store and tell them AB's back in town. I got them rolls, folks. For sure, y'all. I'm getting ready to cook. I don't know. I might sit down with a glass of that, that red Kool-Aid and eat me a couple of these rolls, you know? Maybe split it in half. I got some pastrami left and make me a little, you know, a little, a little sandwich. Let me wipe my mouth, get everything cleaned up, and then wrap this up. Now look. You saw how giddy I was about making these. Listen, it's nothing like making, you know, your own fresh rolls. Look, we're gonna do a lot of more baking on this channel. You know, I don't know why I waited so long to, you know, put this on the channel, but here it is. I just wanna say, hey, thank you to you guys. Don't forget, I just dropped my new ebook. It's down in the description box below, and it's down in, um, I'm gonna pin it in the number one comment. Outside of that, I want you guys to tell me how many of y'all are gonna go out and start, let me not go out, how many of you guys are gonna start making, you know, these rolls? You know what I mean? We gotta like just change it up. A lot of us have that little bit of time now. This is something you can do with your family and it's super easy. I mean, super easy. You just gotta trust the process. Now, with that being said, I wanna say, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. 
There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I'm finna pour me some Kool-Aid. I'm finna cut one of these rolls in half. I'm finna hit it with that pastrami and cheese. You guys know what I'm talking about because you know if you've been watching my uh, my IG or follow me on Twitter, you know what I did. Hey, I'm gonna do that with these rolls. Hey, I'm not gonna over talk it and I'm out of here. Peace.